teleporting. You and the Archfey Warlock are just all over the map. Never stand still. <laughs> yep. Which is kind of funny. And then we have the absolute biggest kick in the balls I've ever seen oh, yeah, baby. for a level 20 ability. I just I just don't don't spoil anything, Isaiah. Let me just let me just tease this one out low and slow, alright? D- <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay. Me and Isaiah have said this many times. We're on record many times. Most of the capstone level 20 abilities in D in 5e suck. We've said this many times. Right? 2024 Warlock sucks balls they did not change it right paladin's cool cleric's cool okay fine rangers was foe slayer rangers was on the this sucks balls list all right once on each of your turns you can add your wisdom modifier to the attack roll or damage roll of an attack you make against one of your favorite enemies you can choose to use this feature before or after the roll uh but before any of the effects of the roll are applied that was the old version of foe slayer so you, it had to be against a favorite enemy, so it's restrictive, and it only did your wisdom modifier bonus in damage, so like, plus five at the most. You could go beyond that with like epic boons and shit, but mo- let's just say plus five for ease of use. So you'd get once per turn plus five damage against only your favorite enemy. Personally, if I were to rework Foe Slayer a little bit, the old version of Foe Slayer, because we haven't even gotten to the new version, I would throw the new version out completely. Old version of Foe Slayer, I would say if you're gonna say I can only do bonus damage to one of my favorite enemies, make that damage number fucking massive. Make it like t- plus or, 20 damage flat. Or, or, right? Or. The barest bones. Yes. Remove that once per turn or bullshit. Or remove the once per turn bullshit. Yes, that's the other option. At th- that's the lowest level. Yes. What the fuck do you mean once per turn? Yes. Are you insane? Yeah. Me Take me. a shot. <laughs> I'm taking a shot right now. <laughs> yeah. So what's the new version of Foe Slayer you say? There's saying? no lie here. I just took a shot. I'm sure you did. So someone goes, what's the new version of Foe Slayer? Surely it's better. Oh, buddy, do I got some, <laughs> do I got some bad news for you? Oh, baby. <laughs> Let me tell you. It's nice and short. I'll tell you, the one good thing about it, it's very quick to read. Hunter's can Mark. I, can I do it? Can, no, I, go can, ahead, I, go ahead. can I do the honors? Do the honors. <clears throat> Hunter's Mark now deals 1d10 force damage on a hit instead of 1d6. Between favored enemy giving you free castings of this spell, Relentless Hunter projecting your co- your concentration from being broken, and Precise Hunter giving you advantage on marked targets, the level 20 ranger is now a master combatant. What are you fighting, toddlers? At the Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> Extra- what the fuck are you talking about, master combatant? Shut the I- fuck up. Isaiah, Isaiah, it's four whole more damage. Potent- oh, that's crazy. It's potentially four damage, by the way. It's not a flat bonus. It's a D10, so it might be four more damage, or you might roll a one. <laughs> yeah. You might roll a one still. You can still roll that one. Also, that second half there was stuff in the article. The ability is literally just Hunter's Mark now deals one D10 force damage on a hit instead of one D6. That's it. That's the ability, period. This is actually the... Not an extra D10. Sorry, no, no, not an extra D10. A D10. A D10. One. One Un D10. Un. Ein. Un. Ah, fuck, I forgot 10 in French. Shit. (laughs) Uh. Uh, Uh. No. What? No. No, 10 is... Un de toi. Oh, 10? No, it's... um... Cat, six, set, beat, neuf, D's. Yeah. Un de dies. That's all you get. Dies. Dies. One dies nuts. You get one dies nuts. That's all you get, dude. One uh, D and dies nuts. It's. Oh my god, I'm so good. Hilarious. It is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is lit. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> the biggest joke of a capstone ability. This. This. This seems like it's a actually shit insulting. Post. It feels like a shit post. It is insane how bad this ability is. It feels like a shit post, dude. It's crazy. Like, it's not even. 
it's not even a D6 plus. It couldn't it have been one D6 plus one D10 or three D6. Like, at least give me multiple or, dice so yeah. I have a better curve. They didn't even give me a better curve. Insane. They gave me a higher maximum with the same minimum. Like, at least give me a better dice average curve. Like, I, but what? Dog. You could have even made it 2d6. You could have even made it 2d6. Like, I... Bro. Broski. Brochinda. And I... I understand, before anyone points it out, I understand that it is a d10 on every attack you're making because of how Hunter's Mark works. That's still not good enough. It's a level 20 it's ability. It's stupid, yeah. It's still dumb. So, yeah. Also, and in case someone was like taking the mental count, Bow Slayer, Precise Hunter, uh, your initial favored enemy, and what was the other one? What was the other one? What was the other one that keys off Hunter's Mark? Other ability one there? Oh, miss. um. Relentless Hunter. Yeah, it's, uh, Relentless Hunter. So, uh, yeah. Bow Slayer, Precise Hunter, Relentless Hunter, and Favored Enemy. That's four abilities tied to your Hunter's Mark. So if you don't have Hunter's Mark, if it's not up because of a silence, if it's dispelled or counterspelled, or you just didn't get a chance to put it up, any of those things, you just lose out on four of your abilities, one of which is your Capstone. And there's a couple of abilities in the subclasses that also key off of the Hunter's Mark. So it's potentially more. So, yeah. Yeah. I... The, yep. cap, the capstone really, for me, just mm -hmm. fucking sent me into another dimension. That was the one that actually killed it for me. It really is the final nail in the hilariously jank coffin yeah and I, I also I think it's very funny that the entire time if you go and watch the video uh, on D&D's YouTube channel where they talked about the hunter or the ranger it, I almost called it the hunter's mark where they talked about the ranger <laughs> uh, Jeremy Craw Crawford kept being like it's basically a whole new class and it's like no it's just the Tasha's hunter it's not a new class at all 90% of this we already had most of this is not new. What the fuck are you on about, Mr. Crawford? So, yeah. Uh, and now we can go back to the subclasses real quick. Because I, yeah. Um, so the four, the four